Yeah, so my name is Dustin Overbeck, and I run a company called Town Web Design. And we basically make websites for municipalities. We um, design and host websites for municipalities all across the United States. Oh, the challenge that I had before hiring, we had so many troubles with the dev shop that even though it seemed like it was cheaper on paper, it was costing us a lot of money in quality assurance, uh, testing, some of our clients were finding the mistakes, and we were just spending a lot of friction back and forth, working on making them work more productive. So what happened at that time is I signed up for um, a credit to hire somebody through JobRack. I instead found somebody through Macedonia who interviewed very well, who was kind of more of a junior level developer. He seemed to have the, the drive and the desire and the understanding of accomplishing what we wanted to accomplish. And in doing so, we did a test project with him for three months, basically had him look at the code that was being designed by the Ukrainian team. Uh, this code was basically a small suite of plugins that we have for our municipal customers that are running on our WordPress websites. And we just needed the functions to work better. And it worked out so great that he has continued to be with us for the last almost two years now. Okay, so when I came to JobRack for the first time, I needed a developer role. So I was specifically looking for somebody who had PHP experience and uh, more directly somebody who had a focus on WordPress. I figured that if I could find somebody who had PHP experience, they could also work on WordPress itself. Um, but I knew that by having somebody who was a developer who wasn't just only focused on WordPress, they'd have um, you know, the, the tools in their arsenal to be able to troubleshoot a lot of these problems that we were looking at solving. And when I was doing the interview process, um, I interviewed probably, I probably contacted maybe upwards of 10 different developers on JobRack. I had serious interviews with three of them. Um, and the person who I ended up hiring was probably the most junior of them all, but he seemed to have the, the qualities that we were looking for to really building a good team culture. I would look at hiring from Eastern Europe if you're really looking for tech talent. So these would be people who have technical skills like for development. Um, JobRack is my first place to look for somebody when I'm looking for a developer just because I know I can find a good group of people, either recent graduates or people who have like, let's say, less than five years worth of experience who can come into a role as working as a junior developer. And I think as my company, we can provide a better team environment for somebody like this because they're probably going to get paid more directly working with a company like ours than they would with a dev shop. And so we can also mold a corporate culture around a long-term employment with somebody. So although you can hire a lot of different people from Eastern Europe, I think the major talent, which brings a lot of entrepreneurs, including myself, are those that have uh, dev skills. So really that's the big mecca for hiring good, good dev developers. I would say you could find people who have really good soft skills coming out of Eastern Europe whether they're junior level developers or recent college grads and things like that. Uh, it's, it's something that makes Eastern Europe unique. And I feel like I have a special insight into this because for the last five years, I've been living in Eastern Europe. And although I could hire technically people that I find um, at the co-working places or who I see in the cafes or through local meetups, um, I find that it's just easier to find the talent through a job board um, because a, these are people who are actively looking for positions, and B, you can more easily vet them out by looking at their qualifications, and, uh, and actually C, schedule an interview with them to see if it's gonna be worth your time to actually put them on a test, test project. So um, those would be kind of the tidbits of information that I would have as far as uh, when you're gonna interview somebody, just don't look only at the technical skills, but also look at the soft skills.